Hey Free Gang, we are coming to you live, but not live, from the tree house that we've been calling home for the last few days and we'll be doing for a few more days as well. In the middle of the English countryside, it's beautiful out here and we thought today we're going to give you a nice tour inside and around what we're calling home at the moment. So let's go and have a look. Now this tree is over 250 years old and finding some of the information about this is quite amazing. It took five master craftsmen over 18 weeks every single day to make this structure and work it around the tree. The footings go down five meters into the ground so it's nice and secure and it's just beautiful how it's all mixed in with the tree. I can't wait to show you guys. Before we go up though, just to give you an idea of the size of this tree, I'm going to give it a nice big hug so you know how big it is. It's huge! So this is the entrance to the tree house and I really like how they've got it in between these two branches. It really makes me feel like you're going in to live inside the tree. But before we go inside, I'm gonna take a little sneaky shortcut and show you the outside balcony, which is all decked out here. So this decking is made from oak and larch wood. In fact, most of the actual building is made of that. And it goes all the way around, pretty much in the whole circle, three quarters of the circle. You've got this great view overlooking the lake and the railway and the rest of the forest. You've got a nice seating area here if you want to sit down, have a cup of tea. And there's a really, really nice seating area out here if you want to have any lunch or snacks. Jojo had his breakfast out here today. Four seats. There's even a nice little snug under here. What I love about the view out here is you get a real sense of how high up the tree is and how big it is being up here. It's a good 20 to 30 foot down and you're really remote. There's no other neighboring <laughs> tree houses or other lodgings. It's just nice that you're on your own, you're secluded and you really feel like you're out in the woods in nature. So that was the outside, but we're gonna go inside now where it's nice and warm. Take your shoes off. So coming into the living space, this is where we spend most of our time as a family so far. You've got a nice sofa there in front of a TV and DVD player. Jojo bought some DVDs with him, so he's been watching some films already. But it's a nice area just to relax. You can play games on the floor, build Lego, things like that. You've got a wood burning stove here to heat the whole room. We've just put another log in there now, so it's settled down for a bit. But when it's fully going, it'll keep you nice and warm cozy in here. But also you have some additional heating on the side here just to keep you warm. So yeah, it's just a nice and cozy room to relax. Um, now we're gonna go on to the kitchen. And I'll tell you what, as we walk around this place, try and see how much wood they've used in everything here from the sides of the walls to the ceiling to the furniture that they've made. It's quite amazing. Down the hallway, there's a little storage area. You can put some coats or bags and shoes or anything else. It's always helpful to have storage in these places. And I'll tell you what, once you get to this kitchen, it is hard to believe that this kitchen exists in a tree. Like, it's blown us away. We've enjoyed making food in here so much. You've got everything you need in your regular kitchen, plenty of storage, fridges hidden in there, even a dishwasher hidden in there, which is awesome. Most of our food storage, we've used this area under the sink. It's a really good area. But there's lots of other areas where you would have wine bottles, where you've got Pringle tubes or uh, plant-based milk. And what I really love is that they've got this breakfast bar over here where you can sit up in the morning and have a snack as well. Maybe some toast, cup of tea, or oh, looking out. And you know, you've got such an amazing view around you no matter what window you look out. So there are kind of three levels to the tree house. That was the first level, but we're gonna go up to the next level where the first bedroom is now. Quite handy as well that they utilize little areas like this, just for shelf space. But this is the first bedroom. 
Now this has got two beds in here. You'd maybe expect kids to stay here, look at the size of the beds and the way it's almost like an adventure room. We've got this storage area here and we've got loads of games in here, including real Monopoly and Scrabble. There's a Pirates of the Caribbean game, which I don't even know what that's about, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Even more storage under here, which means basically there's enough storage per bed or per child if each child has their own things to store. And the beds as well, they're really thinking about kids because they've raised up the mattress on this side. So it's got like a nice lip, a nice edge to stop kids falling out. Or maybe adults as well. They put a little footstep in here as well just to make it easy for you to get on the bed. And again, you've got like the best view possible just to look out of the window. I almost want to be a kid and stay in here myself. I'd probably sleep down that end though. I might bang my head, I don't know. And up to the very, very top bed, we have a kid sitting here right now. You right, Jojo? Yeah. I'm watching Stampy. He's watching Stampy. They've got lighting specific for the bed as well, so if he wants to read a book in bed, it's just nice. It, it feels like a real escape just hiding up here. Yeah, and again, they've got this edge here as well to stop anyone falling out of bed. This is what I mean about utilizing the wood from the tree and putting wood basically everywhere. These little legs, that they've made for this footstep like stand to get up it's i don't know it's just so inventive it's just like they're using as much as they can where possible see you later jojo so if the kids are a problem you can just close them off so that's the first bedroom then we're going to go up to the top floor where the big bedroom is So this main bedroom area, loads and loads of space. They've got a big, big storage area for your coats or your clothes, even your Vitamix and your juicer if you need. More storage here with a couple of drawers too. Do you know what? I just keep getting distracted again and again every time I'm walking around here because of the view. You get to see absolutely everywhere. I really want to climb out there or along that tree branch. I won't though. A lot of animals live in this tree, namely owls, so I don't want to go disturbing any of them. So as far as the bed area is concerned, you've got a vanity table there which Casey was really excited about because sometimes you stay places and they don't really think of this but they've got it spot on here and a hairdryer too. And there's plenty of storage space underneath as well which is really handy to get our suitcases out of the way. As for the bed though, here comes the big jump. Whee! The bed is comfy, plenty of room. Katie of course called the window just to wake up with the view and I have to see the back of her head. The back of her head's pretty nice though. But yeah, it's just lovely to be able to wake up to and just the realization that you're here in nature like this. Moving on to the bathroom. Check out this bathtub, man. This is such a cool bathtub. So deep. It's so deceiving as well. Once you get in there, you don't realize how much space there is, but you dare come any closer and touch the tap. But yeah, Katie was straight in this the first night we got here. And it's really, really nice that you can just sit in here, relax. You can probably get three or four people in here. <laughs> These windows, actually, one thing I'll tell you about, all of the blinds have to be kept down at night because the owls that live around here, the light coming out of here at night time could really disturb them. So we make sure all the blinds are closed every single night. We care about the owls. They're letting us live with them, essentially. For the rest of the bathroom, we've also got a shower as well. I love these showers that we have overhead. It's just so enjoyable. And also we've got dressing gowns both for the morning so yeah really love this bathroom plenty of space and just so enjoyable nice to relax in but we look after the owls too So that was a tour of our treehouse. I'm so happy to be able to share this with you. Out of all of the tours we've done of places we have stayed, this is without a doubt our favorite. So I'd love to hear your comments of what you think. And also let us know, have you ever stayed in a treehouse or anywhere which is very different like this, quite unique? I'd love to know about it below. Share your stories with us in the comments below. And if you're new to this channel and you like seeing about our travels, places we stay, our family vlogs, we'd love it if you subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date with when we upload videos. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.